Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and as beloved, End of Gods. Yes, as you may or may not know, we hit the third border stretch goal, and therefore that means there are now three bonus episodes per month, that are content of which is voted on by the supporters. Now, um, I saw this, which appears to be a combination of Doom and um, Ragnarok, the Ragnarok myth that is, and it looked fascinating, so I put it up for vote, and apparently enough people decided it was fascinating, and we're going to be checking it out. Now, the thing is about these episodes is that while they're not usually full series, we've kind of become in the habit of doing monthly series. We've already got Arkham Horror up to the fifth, and if this one's popular enough, it may end up being the next one. Now... I don't know a lot about this game, I just know it's first person, I know it's kind of creepy, and uh, let's jump in and find out what's going on. I mean, how many times have we all woken up like this? Strapped to an operating table. With all these mechanical hands poking into us. Her responses and cognitive abilities seem to work pleasantly. At least I got decent tats. <laughs> Although, don't look sanitary. Wait. Okay. Ooh, yeah. That's. Your bedside manner sucks. Hmm. Who are you? So why is the Kabbalah sitting on a Norse tablet? Sorry, the not the Kabbalah, Tree of Life. Oh. Serpent. Uh. Okay, so they got a Jewish representation of the Tree of Life. Oh, shut up. Okay, no, leave me alone for a minute. They've got a Jewish represent a mystical representation of the Tree of Life within Norse runes and surrounded by the World Serpent. So we've got, like, you know, two, maybe three versions of mythology just right on that rock. Uh, okay, so what? Where are we supposed to go? This way? Let's see. Remember the numbers. One, four, three, six. Okay, what if I don't do that? Uh, well, it's not going to let me do anything. I thought it would at least get them to bitch at me. No, 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 no. Wait, can I do this? No, I probably can't. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the clear button. Uh, one. <laughs> I like driving it. I get crazy. Yeah, even crazier. Okay. That's the lock. Find the key that unlocks it. Okay, hang on. Let me get the controls down here. Oh, look! It's not a lock, it's a freaking. No, oh, do we have an inventory? No inventory. Well, I guess we can at least do this. It's a USB port. Get to the lock, Carolyn. I can't understand you because your thought has been applauded. So stop Wheatley got pissy. The light. Which light? Okay, so it is this one. Yeah, that was a trap. You know. This is not painless dentistry. The hell? What the hell? No! What the hell did you do to me? Shut up! I cannot understand you. Stop straining your already weak throat, or you will never see. That happens that you are useless to me, and I would be forced to reuse the breathless hunk of me. Not even worthy of being incinerated. Uh-huh. Now, use that gift that I granted you, and choose your side. Okay. We are. Uh, sight on and off. Okay, so you've got a couple of controller things, uh, an X, um, and, wait, I recognize these. 
Some of these are supposed to be Norse runes. So, which one is me? Is that because you do. Ah. Uh, anything with a death head and a winter rune? That's me. That's definitely me. All right, let's go. Oh, thank Everything you. Everything will finally be restored. Oh, great. So does this mean I can go now? Because I'd like to leave. Got enough of, you know, Gladius's dumber younger brother here. Okay, so, you know, we're going to just leave here. Okay, checking out the controls. We do have a run speed. And it's actually half decent as compared to, like, other places. Now, where do we go from here? Do we have to... Oh, right, cool. That's great. We're leaving. Thanks. Ow. You know, that was the... Uh, this is the last time with the insurance pick the doctor. God. Okay, so it's not a on and off thing. You gotta keep pressing down, which is actually kind of annoying. All right, cool. I have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing it anyways. Alice, I pray to Odin that you safely find this and that your escape is successful. You have to hurry. As soon as the spirit notices, he will come after you, and, and I don't know what he will do to you. The myth has taken control over everything. You have to find me right away. Use your sight to look for the symbols that will guide you to me. Message saved by Ross Personal Digital Assistant. Bifrost Digital Assistant. Uh-huh. Dr. Herrick Anderson, you not happen to be Thor. If you step, you tap your uh, walking stick down, do you? Uh, no keys, no inventory. Okay, and we've got that. All right, so, right. Okay, so we should probably turn this on and off as needed. So, spirit. Now, here's the thing. He just called an AI a spirit. So, are we, like from the past and we've kind of just you know been cryogenically frozen or maybe he called us a creation maybe we're a clone with the memories installed and he's trying to mess with us to do something I mean maybe he needs our genetic code but of course that would be more like um well uh that would be a spoiler which is actually a game I'm considering for the future but um let's see control yeah I'm confused so, okay, let's assume that I can this right. Apparently, a crazy AI has just begun cloning dead Norse people and then trying to implant stuff in their heads. Now, this isn't the craziest thing. I mean, I've played System Shock, which is what this is reminding me of a lot. Um, let's see, problem, because that's just a blue screen of death from the future. And that is a blood screen of death, which means someone was killed here. Okay, so... What do we got here? Six, seven, two, five. Oh, that's gonna happen a lot. All right, all right. Come on. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, we're just prefer to do it this way. Use the fill keyboard. All right. Now, if of course Assassin's Creed taught me. It. Oh, hello. What? What? No, I don't have, Do I have a date here? No. So we have no idea. That could be like months old at this point. We could have destroyed the entire world. Okay. Let's see. Check if anybody else is here. Why are there... No, there's not runes. Okay. But yeah, that's telling me he went in that direction. Boar. Yeah. That would be the father of Odin, I believe. I'm not super rare in Norse. I kind of like him, but go could beyond Marvel Comics. I get a little lost. I mean, it's been like 10 years since I've read any of the myths. And apparently we can't call back. Well, that would be kind of polite, at least, to say, sorry, you started the apocalypse. But I don't think we're actually a members of this expedition. I think we're just clones. Or if we were members of the expedition, I think we had, like, Norse people injected into us or something. I mean, we're dealing with another crazy AI, which, you know, 
as you know Falcon said to a Winter Soldier, it either comes down to aliens, androids, or wizards. Okay, do we don't have a flashlight, but we've got this. Alright, so... Yeah, so we're supposed to go this way. Going to this, I think. Alright, so... Ah! Missed that somehow. Alright, so there's nowhere else to go. I turn it off. But that doesn't look good. How much meat moss? Meat moss, my old friend. Uh, maybe we're on the same... Oh, God. Yes, it does. Well, that wasn't good. Oh, uh, it's a good thing that he doesn't have this, I think. Okay, okay, we'll just, just walk up quietly. At casual. At casual. Oh, I ran out of power. Okay, cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's uh, not go the way that the crazy looking person did. Hey, there's somebody's skull. And that's cute. Well, that sucked. Oh, God. Traps everywhere, I guess. Okay, so this is good. This is good. This is good. I don't know how much health I have. Is, is there a measurement? Yeah, this. No, that's my sight. I should remember to turn it off when I no longer need it. I mean, it recharges quickly, but, you know, you're never. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that this really wasn't. I'm gonna guess this expedition didn't go well. Oh, God, so we're gonna do this again. I thought it'd be a big red button and we press it or something, but hey, okay. He says, Do you leave any clues behind? But yeah, if the Cousins Creed taught me anything, all these clues are being left behind in people's blood. This is just what people do. Alright, cool. Let's take the evil artifact. Okay, we've got the Power Stone. Soul Stone activated. Okay, so it's a Soul Stone. And by you, I thought you were supposed to stay put, my dear. Oh. Instead, like the ungrateful waste of life that you are, you decided to leave my merciful embrace. A decision you will regret in the dark. Yeah, and... Oh, well, I guess we can go that way if we want to. Let's check this place out. All right, so lots of blood, bits and pieces. Apparently the science crew's got... Well, I don't know. I mean, it could be the same thing that happens with the Reapers. They all went, um, worshipped the, the evil beings that they were attempting to understand. All right, yeah, I get it. We can see. Now, the thing is about this dude is that he gave us his ability. He has to know how it works. Oh, shit. What's this? Ah! All right, let's not do that way, okay? That's bad. That's a bad way to go. The hell was that? Apparently somebody who's having a bad day and wants to share. Okay, that was it. Yeah, okay. The controls are a little wonky. Normally the lean button is the E button, but this time around they've decided that they were going to uh, go with uh, making that the interaction button rather than the usual... I don't know. Usually it's yeah, one of the more, like, space bar. You stay there. I'll stay over here, okay? I think we had enough uh, interaction for the day. So, it's stealth, is it? Alright, we'll go that way. Oh god, the site's about to kick off. Right, 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 let it charge. I suppose it's like better than a flashlight in many ways by using the same key. Okay, we'll jump. God. What? Oh. There we go. Alright, dude. Nobody here? Cool. Good hiding spot to remember that. The hell? We got a giant bug. No, no, no. Leave him be. Leave him be. We just don't want to deal with whatever that is. He's got his own problems. We don't want to add to them. Plus, I don't have a gun to kill him with yet. But, let's pop up and grab this. Alright! Ladder. I was kind of hoping it was an elevator, but... Well, thank God, I don't have to do any strange button mashing to function. In. So... Where are we? D 
God, now we can't get back up. Uh, at least he hasn't turned the air off. That would be bad, although it would probably take forever. Telling me to run. Not a good sign. Rather stealth, thanks. Okay, which way are we going? We go this way, but should just make sure. Uh -huh, screaming, screaming person, never a good sign. Oh no, 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 no! That's why they wanted us to have to know what the sh what the run button was like, because this dude over there is probably not in a good mood. So beast men is what I'm gonna be calling these things. We got a stealth by this guy since there's no other way to go. Memorize his locations. Maybe we can get through. Maybe he's not there now. Right there. Okay, if we just take a right. Not here. Can't see me in the dark. You can actually see me in the dark. You know what? I'll take a I'll check out this run button. Looks cool. No, 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 thanks. Whatever. I think we're done here. I think we're done. We're done! Ooh. Thank you. Of course, the AI does not control the elevators whatsoever. Okay, so where's the butt? Oh, thank gods. Alright, cool, cool. Where's the button? Look, I got... Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, how's your day going? Really, I mean, like, Bob over at the countings and giving me hell, and, you know, I think I'm back from the dead. Uh, you just... You just worship your cow skull. We'll be fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, 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 okay. You, it was nice talking. See you at the water cooler. That was fun. All right, so... What the hell is this? Collectible. Kryptonite. Wonderful. Why are there runes? Oh my god, everybody went batshit here, didn't they? You have a victory rune? I gotta look these up at some point, but yeah. All right, so... Let's see what we got here. You are not authorized for this section. Maybe the same thing over here, isn't it? Okay, so the next puzzle is taking off somebody's hand, is it? I don't see... I mean, anything helpful here. Unless you're playing it, yeah, we'll have to go up that way. Thanks for the, uh... Blood-soaked clue there. I'll do what I can. Alright, so apparently I've learned what I can jump. You know, I kind of get spoiled by control, you know, because she can, like, do a bench. She can, like, you know, do a shoulder lift. I mean, lift herself with a s her shoulders and her arms, but instead I'm dealing with somebody who's apparently can't jump. Of course, it did come back from the dead recently. Although, if you're a clone, though, is it coming back from the dead or pretty much birth, isn't it? Alright. God, I got so much red from this freaking falling bits. I mean, that was three feet, dude. How exactly does three feet? Oh, oh. Tch. Yeah, rat in a maze. Let's let it charge. Yeah, that looks safe. I like how the fact that somebody actually stacked the rocks here. This was very, very kind of them. All right, so let's pop this baby up. That's two soul stones. It better not be Gamora's. All right, all right, all right. This. Okay, cool. I've been leading my team to go through the roots to fetch artifacts for Borkorp for over three months now. I know it's not my place to question my orders. I always question my orders. I can no longer deem transportation through the roots as safe. It wasn't a problem 
whereas all the other words were inhabited and dead. Last time Team 4 went through, we were fully armed, and still only half of us came back. And these roots, they're still spread before the power of the gods. We are nothing. Okay, so what I'm getting here is some evil corporation named as Bor decided that they were going to try to access the Nine Realms and plunder the ruins of Asgard post-Ragnarok. You know, this is not actually one of the crazier plots I've had. Mm. Hi, you would you be? Apparently I'm... Uh, I'm a death, because that's the one I chose and you thought it was awesome. It's just my theme. But I'm in, actually, I think he probably says that. God. Okay, when's the last time OSHA came through? Oh, wait, OSHA doesn't exist anymore, does it? Yep, health and safety checks. You know, screw protecting our multi billion dollar investment, including trained personnel. Let's just cut corners with maintenance. The music's good, though. I really like it. Alright, so, right. Let's get out of this and check. The thrust is probably... Yeah, I'm definitely going that way. I don't feel like falling off the ledge. Definitely putting a formal complaint in. Alright, alright. Back into the damn vents. Alright. Let's keep this sight... Well... Do you see? She left because she eats. She left you all alone. If you don't want to be alone forever, you need to get her back. Can you do that? Yeah. Go get her back. Make your father proud. Yeah. No, not a good dog. No good dog. Yeah, so we got a flesh hater, huh? Antibiotic. Biotic. Spi Biophobia, that would be it. Okay, so we have a giant hellhound chasing us, and that would be Garm if we're going by Norse mythology. Bad dog, bad dog, bad dog. Okay, so father of Garm? Okay, you just gave yourself away, dude. Loki. Yeah. Hell is Loki's daughter. Is this some kind of fucked up family drama going on right now? The hell are you? Oh, you're in the collectible. Okay, let's uh, get this floating brain into our skull. Because that is apparently something we should be doing. I mean, I've got Garm chasing me, and Loki is an AI, so. And I've been resurrected from the dead and apparently related to hell. You know what? This is a average Tuesday for me. <laughs> all right, all right, right. Let's go play with the doggy, shall we? Uh, hi. You stay there. We'll stay here. Let's get Soulstone Three moving up and going. Of course, that is the color for the Power Stone. Which would be kind of awesome right now, because I think we kind of need it. Alright, alright, so... No sign of the key. Oh, seven... It's the same number, too! God, security is such a joke around here. Alright, cool. I don't think they... They're going to be helpful. Plus, they're just staring at a blue screen of death. Blue screen of hell! I think we're cool. Head over here. Okay, that door is sealed. And God, what I wouldn't give for the thing to be working. Alright, so... Kind of would prefer, by the way, if I didn't have to hold down this key, because it's annoying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, goddamn. They're not readable. I thought there might have been passwords there. Immortality. Oh, god 
damn it, you guys are trying to get the golden apples to give yourself immortality. Last thing corporates need is immortality, because at least... Uh, excuse me, sorry. I was just thinking of myself there. Yeah, I think I've been spotted. Oh, great. We got more. No, no, no. I'm just passing through. Just want to get a quick look around. Oh, this would be good here. No, 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 no. Just need to keep running around until the elevator approaches, because it looks like we've been taking way too many hits here. Come on! God, how slow is this elevator? Is this a Mass Effect elevator? I think he's still chasing us. I think he actually gave up. Well, you could have stayed open for me. God damn it. Artifact research. All right, right. God damn it. There we go. Not letting us go? This sucks. Artifact research. Um, okay, hang on a second. Is it here? On the floor, on the ceiling, something else? Uh, we can try. Alright, tried the boat the codes that we have here. So we gotta go find out where this thing is. Alright, so interactables. Do we have any here? Hmm. I see that, but you shouldn't leave the code behind, and also you got ruins around here. Oh god, this entire company went nuts, didn't it? Y'all worshipping... wrong gods? Summon something in Oblivion? The roots are coming through, which is probably Yggdrasil. So, and we're looking for the code to get us out of this level. Alright, so... Do we... Should we... Consider a going out another direction? There's the problem there. I mean, yeah, we got this, but... 7913, got it. Thank you, Bob. Until I've forgotten his name. I think it's Un Gunderson. 79... Wait, what was it? 79... Let's double check. 7923, I think. I'm gonna get killed doing this. 7913 would have been embarrassing. I'd gotten that wrong. 7913. So... Let's just say goodbye to the Beastmen. Oh, right, okay, cool. Just... Alright, alright. 7913. Okay, 7913. There we go. Alright, cool, cool. I always love following the breadcrumbs given to you. A mysterious person or may not be my enemy. Well, you know. Gotta admit, though, the threads are good. This is the best outfit I've had for an FBS character. Goddamn, I'd like to get away with wearing something like this in the real world. I mean, I just think that the, the old style... Old style kind of clothes had some kind of cool aspects to them. Alright, so we know... We hit this. I was gonna say no, that you tell us where we go next. It'd be over here on the left, but because I hate progress. Um, come on! Don't tell me you don't have a nuke. Oh, it's coffee. God damn it! Take it. Take the. Well, let me take the coffee. Uh huh. You won't take the snacks either, will you? Damn it! The first rule of survival horror is to take everything, including especially the food. But yeah, I mean, this time around, it doesn't look like he had to tell me which way to go. <laughs> uh, are we in space? Are we in underground? Are we in another dimension? Uh, the laboratory. Of course, it's got ruins divided on it. we got some crazy... Of course, the god director could be one of the gods themselves looking to, uh, you know, come back. Because gods keep getting reincarnated. Yeah, that's always a good sign. Okay, key. I wonder if that was a blood sacrifice or clean up in aisle six, I guess. And we'll get that. We'll get to that eventually. 
I'm sure. Oops, wrong way. Oh, the research lab. Okay, I halfway expected somebody to just jump up and hit it with, like, bloodstained hands and cause a smear. Hi. Okay, we're gone. Look, I look, I'm sorry I interrupted your break, okay? Yeah, I think it's bored easy. Okay, so we just quietly sneak along through here. We'll get to the research lab. We'll just might be going the roundabout way. Okay, we're doing okay. Lovely red lights. Ah, oh, gods. Look, get some aspirin. Stop bothering me. Ugh, these guys, these guys. No sense of humor. All right, now we're in the creepy lab. Okay, looks like these are all resurrection stones. That's what it is. So we took a body from like... 1,500 years ago and stuck it on here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the, the, uh, the Tree of Life. It's amazing that they would combine these two systems, but I guess they're trying to say that they both originated from a common one, if they thought of it at all. All right, hit it. Dr. Lisa Swenson, supervisor, day three of tablet analysis. We received several stone tablets from... Uh on time with inscriptions apparently Splat. symbolizing the nine realms of the world tree. Right. Initial analysis shows that the tablet emits an energy field boosting cell regeneration. End of note. So we do have an immortality sort of thing. So they what stuck a blood sample on there and he just said I I country how I wonder we regenerated the clothing. I mean probably the the AI could have oh, come on I want some Mountain Dew. Ugh. Don't know what that means, unfortunately. And these... Kimai. H? No, the that's Frost. I should really look these up. Anyways, so yeah, we have Immortality Stones here. So they stuck a dead body on there and I regenerated out of it. But how do... I know English, unless they implanted it in my head. Okay, 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 we can deal with that. Oh, give me a second. I'm still looking around. But thank you for opening the door for me. It's very kind of you. Don't open that door yet. Okay. I don't like the creepy music. I choose you, Frost Giant. Pokemon meets Norse mythology. We all know that would work. Alright, if we've got anything else here. Look like it. So I guess I guess we're heading out. <laughs> Which way are we headed now? Not that way. Okay, research lab. This isn't progress. On the other hand, it's so this goes somewhere. All right, creepy stuff. Are we laser etching a old shield? I mean, I guess it's good for a buff, but I mean, you're planning on selling it back in the market? Uh huh. Stargate. It's not operational. Nothing cool here. God damn it. The AI crashed everything, which means I am not going to be able to get my Doom Marathon going on here. Alright, can't go that way. In here. Ah, we can't go up that way. No idea where I'm going, if I'm supposed to be going in this direction or in this order, but we just keep going. Because that's what you do in these games. You don't know what's going on, you just... Ah. God damn it. 
I'm gonna blame that on being just, you know, just imagine how stiff your body would be if you were generated from 1500 years ago. I mean, just think of the goddamn coffee you'd need, which I couldn't get, by the way, and I'm very upset about. All right, shield storage. Looks awesome. The fuck? The fuck? It's a whole bunch of runes there, but... What the hell is that? Need a hand? Yeah? Yeah. Don't look good, dude. Don't sound good either. Got nothing to interact with. Oh, but we've got his hand, which means we can definitely. Okay. We got ghosts. Speaking backwards. But I, I told you we'd have to get a biometric bypass here. All right, stick that bastard on here. Now throw it in the fire, because I ain't having that thing. No, actually, keep the damn thing. All right, let's pretend that we're completely normal, carrying around a reanimated hand. You know, you ask for immortality, and this sort of shit happens. Oh, hi. Can you climb ladders? You can't climb ladders, can you? That's awesome. Stairs are your enemy. Stairs are my enemy. Oh, I missed something, by the way. Thank you for chasing me back in here. Research, note six. The expeditions to Asgard have proven fruitful yet again. Oh, bloody we hell. back several shields that seem to possess a number of strange capabilities which are completely out of our control. According to the myth, these shields seem to have belonged to the winged creatures known as Valkyries. You give them back. The mission of these creatures were to bring dead warriors to an afterlife in Valhalla, and must have possessed enormous powers. Yes, but can you throw them like Captain America? He's going to be so pissed when he finds out what happened to his friend Thor. Alright, so the thing about this, as I'm thinking, is that we need that biometric bypass for other doors. You remember, there's a bunch of doors we couldn't open. No, 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 we're leaving. We're leaving! Luckily, they don't seem to have much. Oh, God, this guy's got cardio. Oh, this is sucks. Well, okay, whatever. So, we think we're supposed to just get the hand and go. Let's activate this again, just in case. Excellent. That's a game save thing? Oh, good news! Don't think we have to worry about the guy out there again. Oh, God. Maybe I'll take some time eating that. Yeah. Immortality! Guess what? There's a reason why some mythological systems have that death is the first mercy. And the final mercy. And the first mercy the gods gave humanity was the ability to not have to, you know, live like that. So, living forever. Think about carefully if you that's what you want. Alright. Hit it. Although, considering we've got the skin peeled off and that's what biometric locks for, that must be a DNA thing. Oh, we opened the airlock. Great. I didn't even know there was an objective. Dumbling in the dark. In some ways, literally. I actually am sort of like this. Search. Note one. Sarah has shown me a lot of the myths surrounding the ancient objects we have recovered. Just like assumed, most of these stories corresponds only a little with the true events of the past. Giants and fire giants are very much like the descriptions, but the Vanir and uh, Acer gods differ a lot from their noble fairy tale versions. Some stories are not even close to as gruesome as they are in real life. More of these stories later. Right then, 2734. Kind of obvious, but... Mm-hmm. Alright, 
no notes from our friend. Okay, I kind of like that sight thing. It's definitely better than the actual flashlight. It gives a certain effect to it and also gives us an advantage in the dark. So, yeah. Loki. Fenrir, not Garm. Wait, or is it? No, isn't Fenrir Garm? Oh god, which way are we going now? Do I have to stick myself into that thing? Yeah, I think I do. It's disgusting. Ugh. You know, I always want to know what it's like to be digested through the intestines. Oh wait, that dog could definitely show me if I'm not careful. All right, cool. Speaking of which, take a look around. All right, these must be the roots. If these are the roots of the world tree, then the world tree is like Cthulhu. Okay, that's not going to open. God. You know, I actually would complain about all the computers being off, but I actually means that I'm not listening to all the corporate propaganda that they're putting out. Remember, work is good for you. Work is your friend. Be like the dwarves of Svendheim. Work hard. Be cheated by Odin. And we're Odin, this analogy. Thank you. Uh, oh, no. The glow didn't stop... All right, so I guess we're going for the sphincter of the world tree. Hang on, guys. Whoa! All right. Cool. The Stargate is work. Great. Stargate looking like somebody's ass. All right, one-way trip. Wasn't really expecting anything else. However, nice of the corporate teams to have left me lighting. And leave it on, too. Oh god, I just don't like this end up as bad as Lust from Beyond. If it's as bad as Lust from Beyond, and which realm of the Nine are we in? Would have left Midgard being a... Fucking spiders. I have no problem. That didn't look like a spider. It looked like something went twisted into the shape of a spider. Yeah, I'm definitely getting flashbacks. You know, I'm not here, guys, right? I'm not here at all. There's no one here. I don't look like meat to you. I look like nothing at all. I am one with the wind. One with the wind. Eh, uh, friend did not leave us. Yeah, our friend let... Okay, we're leaving. We're definitely leaving. Ah, that sucked. Hey, I need that. Okay, scripted, scripted. We're doing okay. Well, minus the arm. Oh shit! What am I doing? Come on. Just a little bit further. Well, that happened. Mm-hmm. Told you. How many times do we end up waking up like this? I'm and five seconds late, the demons would have torn you apart. I'm Great Odin spared your life, but left you broken. But that's okay, because I fixed you. It's no, just... you know what? I made you better. Thank you. I'm a cyborg now. <sighs> Remarkable, isn't it? What? It's actually. Hi. No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, let's see here. Speech should be fine. They repaired the tissue. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. And the arm. How does it feel? Strange feeling, isn't it? When it's bonding to you. Huh. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. We went cyberpunk. Anyway, I have much to prepare. You must for now. That was interesting. Okay, so this is actually something that happens a lot in myth. Oh, you're Dr. Anderson. I'm Alice. That doesn't mean she's not. Who are you? My heart. My my voice. She even sounds like. Yes. Yes. I fixed your voice. Oh, there you are. And your arm. Who are you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Anderson, the CEO of Bork. Oh my god, you're the bad guy. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's up on the surface, Rob. Unfortunately. 
you and I are stuck down here. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. I still get the screen. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Excellent. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. Oh. It's based on ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Jangaper. You brought uh, a hand with you. Use the Jangaper to extract the RFID from it. Which is what we you want. You access to all doors with that level of security. Ooh, you can do surgery. Right. Scan the hand on the table and then use it downstairs on the lock. Ah, uh, okay. No, this is a lot to ask. But we're not taking this lightly. <laughs> I'll tell you more as you go. Well, one of the two of you is the bad guy. My guess is this is the woman because it would be completely, you know, she's the kind one who we wouldn't want to expect. It. So, so you and I, you and I are the good guys and she's deceiving you because there's at least one deceiver in these games. If we come across a fourth character, we'll go with that. I'm not counting Loki. We already know he's a deceiver. I mean, Loki could be any of us. Loki could be me for all I know. Okay, so god damn, that's a lot of pills. All right, so yeah. We're a cyborg now, and that's just goddamn awesome. So, great power, huh? We have the ability to pick up electromagnetic transmissions and use them to... Well, you, you could just let me know what the control button is, right? Is there a button for this? You didn't give me a button prompt. Oh, wait, downstairs. This... <laughs> I'm bad at following directions. All right, so, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Now let's go for the next tutorial garbage. I'm losing connection here. Uh, earthquakes are getting far too frequent. Uh -huh. Roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. Right, I'll I'll give me a moment. You need to know. Uh, okay, this. Uh, hold on. This place is looking a little better. But he's a CAO. I guess he would have to prioritize his stuff. Can you hear me? Yeah, I yes. can hear you. Good. You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Bifrost system. You had a whole Norse thing going on even before you started drilling into the world tree. Yeah, don't use science on technology. I, I mean... It's your first obstacle. Oh, great. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, young Graper can open the tunnels in an unconventional way but first you need power you should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room upgrade it's gonna okay so we have a cybernetic eye that gives us vision and we now have a cyborg arm so we're gonna find out that the i all right first of all i gotta say it from last episode the whole idea of the you know the Vanheim and the um, SCR not being the, you know, Nordic style heroic types that we see in the goddamn movies. Yeah, that's a thing. They were alien gods. They could look like anything they want to. So Lovecraftian horror, Pavement Night Abomination, Hovering Brain Box. Wait, that's not what we want. It could be any of those. That right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Insert it in the arm. Get back to the service hatch and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. All right. And don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the wall before you move on. Right. Okay, dude. Whatever. You're the one who drew his own designs in his blood, but at least you did it to help me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that one pass. <laughs> Can we shoot people with this? I'd like some offensive you ability. Collect enough upgrades for Jan Graper. You can activate the weapon inside it. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit of murder. Murdering the whatever the hell's out there. Okay, so... yeah. Ahead and above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Jan Graper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Above you, okay. 
okay. Where's the control circuit? Right, that's just the regular door. Okay, so I fire a burst, so I gotta do this. And we charge off the cell, there we go. Okay, so that's the recharge thing. So we target this, I guess. Ah, now I'm getting it. Okay, recharge. Okay, I'm not exactly the orthodox way of doing this, but we can do this. All right, come on. And I like the fact that he came back here just to bleed on the wall for me. On atrium power cells, your life might be depending on not running out. There is another, larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. Cool, I've got two. One of them discharged at the moment. I should go back and recharge that once we get everything here. Thing is, pro keys, change page, audio logs. Huh. Only two pages so far. Okay, so we have one of these. Let's grab them all. So, okay, so how many do we have now? Five. Five recharges. So that means we press E and the thing will just recharge us entirely, which is cool. And I'm going to go back and recharge this thing. As you know, survival horror, your life can depend on these things being do not... Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, so, and that means... Do we have... Both of them charged. What does this mean, anyways? Ah, so they give me a... Kind of a thing over. Okay, so they're fully charged. I got a whole bunch of recharges from those things. Which kind of look like glowing donuts. Okay, we can deal with that. Got two ways to go here. 55 milliliters of what? That looks like creepy stuff. Alright, so this looks like progress, so we're gonna head back here. See if we can crack this baby open. Ah, level two. You cannot. Alright, alright. I get it, I get it. I know when I'm being railroaded. Ahead of you. You will find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. Okay. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics, but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. Use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. Oh gods, here we go. And... I missed. I missed again. Ah, uh, I gotta recharge. I am not recharging from there. Okay, hang on. I'm not gonna use up my chips. Because I'll use all of them up. I'll just... I'll just be serious here. I am not... Very good at that sort of thing. But it does slow down every time we do it, which is kind of them. I do agree with that. It's very kind of them. Do this way. I forgot. They changed the directions when you do this. Okay, so let's go recharge from down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's looking at us and going, Okay, is this supposed to be our hero? Because we're kind of screwed here. At least I'm not a hipster dude with a sword. Anyways. Uh, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, can we do that over here, actually? I want to see. Because I like to sequence break. Okay, let's try, let's try, let's try. We got the bursts a little closer there. Oh, that was very really bad. Oh, well, that sucked. This could be a little while. I will do the whole jump, jump through time thing if it takes way too long. All right, Norse Cyborg. Norse Cyborg Cree. I'm guessing he hacked us with um, Hell's DNA. 
So we've got Hell's DNA infused in us through genetic manipulation, cybernetics from a, uh, the ancient Aesir culture, which definitely was evil aliens, and we are totally working for a bad guy. All right, we did this. I did this because it was there and we should have done it. Ah, the collectibles. God, it's this far in the future and we're still using that stuff for paint? It's terrible. All right, let's pop this baby. I doubt we're not gonna get all 28. Don't ever do that again. Don't wanna fall down that way. All right, so let's go recharge. See, that's the thing. Technically, we're lower, not doing so well on the stuff he's asked us to do, but we have demonstrated a critical ability to uh, modify plans on the fly, usually because we fuck up the first one. All right, let's charge me, baby. I am glad that they do have kind of an anti-frustration feature and slowing down every time you miss. It's the universe taking pity on the fools that bears. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go do what we're supposed to do. I'll probably finish this section and then end this series. I mean, by now you know whether or not this is one that you think that should be uh, continued. It's not technically a voting option, but can be added if there's enough support for it. In other words, let me know by support, of course, by comments and likes. All right, let's miss. All right, to third try, they just give it to us. But guess what? Yes, I'm going back to recharge. Because I am the ultimate pragmatist. If you give me infinite anything, I will keep using it until I can't. You know, that sound, it sounds like we actually have a hood. Plastic hood, which would probably be the thing that's out of place. So, these are definitely not clothes from the past, which would, of course, be rotted by this point. These are probably clothes that were generated by synthetic materials by the insane AI that thinks it's Loki. Or it could be an AI possessed by Loki's ghost. Or somebody could have taken Loki's brain and attached it to the computer, because that's what stupid things happen in these sci-fi uh, horror games. Yeah, we've got a hood. It's cool. I guess. Oh god, now what? Where are we? What are we doing? Oh, we're going up. Here we go again! Oh, we've got the little reticle here. Out of range? Oh, for god's sakes. Now I gotta go back again. This sucketh. Do, 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 do. Not gonna jump off, they'll probably kill me. Maybe that'll be a bit faster. Ugh. I honestly thought that you were. Ah, uh, it could be I have to I toggle the aim first. Alright, so this is what it's trying to tell me after all. I will try to finish this section. <laughs> Very slow learner. Very slow learner. All right, let's do this again. All right, so toggle aim. Oh, there it is. All right, there we go. Like I said, if it doesn't have a charge, I will just... The charging station up here, I would have to run back. All right, so. Okay, uh, everything seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Uh, You're talking, I'm going back. Midgard is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absolute controller of the roots of Yggdrasil. Okay. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. The spirit. Uh-huh. It took control of the Absolute and our systems, causing an emergency override. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. Uh -huh. But Henrik has traveled too much unprotected. He almost died when he saved you and wouldn't survive going through another route. 
You are literally our only hope for stopping this. Of course I am. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will... Sarah. Wait, Henrik, I'm losing connection again. Sarah? Shit. Listen, we know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Oh, that sounds Every fun. Moment, the route spread further into Midgard, so find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Uh, Please hurry. Doing this thing again. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guess I'll be back. All right, so I'm not going to force you to watch me to do this all over again, but yeah, so at this point, you should probably know whether or not you like this game, but um, let me know in the comments down below, actually. It's interesting. I kind of like the fact that it's got a different take on, the con oh, on both uh, the Norse mythology and the apocalyptic FPS survival horror genre. I mean, let's just face it, the gorgeous cybernetics are enough alone. I mean, throw in a little bit of cyberpunk there, too. Cy we have Loki as an insane I AI, and me as apparently a construct, but she kept calling me a name, like, Sarah? I'm supposed to be Sarah? Or did they take, did he take Sarah's body and just like inject things into it? Cause it's kind of making me feel that way. So we're probably a simply fully synthetic being whose job is it to try and collect all of the MacGuffins secretly for the bad guy. Because that's just how these games work. I mean, we'll get the nine things. The bad guy will pop out of nowhere. Thank you for getting for those. I was forbidden from do so. I mean, it's every we from Alan Wake to Secret World to all of the other horror games. I mean, that's the twist, the secret twist, the Shyamalan twist that developers think that we're not gonna see coming. So, take, let me know if you think I'm right about that. Who do you think the bad guy is? It could even be us. And whether or not you think this game would be worth continuing. Remember, the um, if you are a supporter, you can, of course, vote for it to continue as a monthly series next for next month when the vote comes out again for February. And, of course, if you are not a supporter, you can still let me know if you'd like me to consider this for a vote for after we're done with Control. Because there will be a vote for subscribers for which series is... Oh, gods. Like I said, pity. Um, which series is, of course... Ah, I'll grab this one. See, this is how many more I'm going to have, because I'm so thrifty about this. All right, all right. Well, look, I'll get to you in a second. But yeah. So, of course, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. And if you really like it, down below are links to the Gumbert Human platform. You can support it yourself. You can vote for this. But, of course, if we also hit the... Um, if we also hit the fourth stretch goal, that will mean that we have a com four episodes per month, which is actually a complete series on Monday rather than the monthly series. I mean, we'll have to go through them one at a time. If you want to see this and Arkham Horror, for example, we'll have to do the first, the first that one and then the second one. And that would be voted for on supporters as, as the basic episodes are as well. And of course, we've got Control going on Wednesday. And hopefully from the Saturday after this, we'll finally start doing the Grimoire series for Cultist Simulator, which we go over the rights and rituals of that game and their, their relationship to actual ceremonial magic. So like I said, this is Fantastic Worlds. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.